Elon Musk at Humans to Mars by 2024? Someone get us off this garbage planet! Find out more on today's Musk Flash! <laughs> Dan of us is, isn't faking. Dan is dying. We were given a veritable smargish board of SpaceX mm. news straight from Elon Musk's mouth ooh, this weekend at the International Astronautical Congress in Adelaide, Australia. Oh, Roy? First up, we have to welcome a brand new member to the SpaceX family, the Interplanetary Transport System, codenamed the BFR, which, of course, in true Elon Musk fashion, stands for Big rocket. I, I know it looks a little big. This is not me swearing. No. This is me being scientific. I think, I think, he's a nerd. It's probably illusion to, to Doom. To Doom. It's 100% illusion to Doom. The BFG 3000. Yes. It's definitely that. I don't think anyone... Is it 9000? It's this number on the screen now. The BFR will utilize 31 engines and will eventually phase out SpaceX's current lineup of rockets, including the still-in-testing Falcon Heavy. Heavy. Say, <laughs> saith the Elon, quote, we can build a system that cannibalizes our own products and makes our own products r redundant, then all the resources we use for a Falcon Heavy and Dragon can be applied to one system. Oh my god, I... Was that you, Elon Musk, giving the presentation exactly the way he gave it in Adelaide, Australia? Yes. It was. <laughs> um... So... Um... The BFR will be completely reusable and will go on to become the new go-to in launching satellites docking with the International Space Station and getting our asses to Mars. Speaking of docking asses, we got some new Mars plans, baby! Ooh, Ooh. smooth synth. Mm. Oh, dude, nice. We ain't gonna be one of those lame species that only lives on one boring planet. We're gonna buy a second vacation planet for the summer months. And the BFR is an integral part of SpaceX's interplanetary plans. It's what will ferry people and equipment to Mars, especially since the plan for it will be able to carry 20 to 50 tons to the red planet, which is a whole bunch more than we've ever sent to Mars. And it might happen sooner than you'd think. That is a lot of snacks. Now, Musk wants four of these rockets built and on their way to Mars in 2020. With humans. That is just seven years away. We will probably be alive, to be on it. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> and Mars isn't the only celestial body SpaceX has its sights on. He wants to build a motherfucking base on the moon! On the moon! Not many details on how he wants to do this have come out, but I mean, of course, come on. We're gonna build a base on the moon, obviously. We've been flirting with the moon since 1969. We've nice. walked on its face. It's time to put a ring on it. Which brings us to the next thing Elon Musk wants to do with his big frickin' rocket fly us anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Now, Musk estimates that a trip from New York to Shanghai, a distance of 7,392 miles, or 11,897 kilometers if you're nasty, would take 39 minutes. That's less time <laughs> than it takes me to drive home with this stupid LA traffic, am I right? Hey! Wrong coast. LA, baby! I'm driving here! Uh, uh. Think about it. You'd be able to live anywhere on the planet and make it to work on time. I can Ooh. finally live my dream of owning the Seaside Heights, New Jersey home that was featured in the MTV show, The, the Jersey Shore, and uh, still be able to work here in Los Angeles. Because you know what else is a situation? His commute. And of course, it's gonna be super safe and have comfortable takeoff and landings for consumers because he promises, well, I mean, let's just hear what daddy promises from the dad man himself. So you can essentially, count on the landing. It's not like the, you, you want minimum pocket, pucker factor on the landing. What more confirmation do we need other than being told we'll have minimum puckering factor upon landing? Stop it, Dan. I see you. No, and with that, it's time for your Musk see moment of the week. Buttonoculars. Stop. <laughs> Now this is a brief one today. We just wanted to highlight Tesla donating hundreds of Powerwall battery packs to Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria last week. Now, most of the island will be without power for months, and Tesla's working with local relief organizations to pinpoint the best locations for the power walls. If you wish to help the people of Puerto Rico, there are many, many charitable organizations accepting donations now. Please look into it. You can make a difference. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Must Watch. Bye. Bye. Yeah.
Thanks for watching this week's Musk Watch. Remember to like and comment below because we want your sweet, sweet life. Ooh, if you got any musky stories, send them our way at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MUSKWATCH! Ooh, you. You. Come on. What gesture are you going to use for butthole movement? Oh. I don't know. What one are you doing? I mean, well, that's, I mean, that's why I did this. I went like this, and I, and I tightened it up, and then it became a beautiful butt or fly. Thank <laughs> you.